So another thing I've noticed, as black women, we can be so nonchalant about our image. We can sit and talk for hours about how no one takes us seriously, no one respects us, no one protects us, but we don't want to have the conversation about how we carry ourselves that cause those results and hear me out i know not all so y'all can chill with that right but we will complain that black women are stereotypes as loud and aggressive and combative but then at the same time we go support shows and movies that portray us in such light right we can complain that black women are seen as nothing as sexual objects and people um sexualize us and don't respect us but then we go support artists that don't know no other dance move than twerking right we support music that portrays us in such a negative light we don't want to have the conversation about how can we take our image in our own hands it's almost as if we just want to play the victim card and not do the necessary work to change our image it's like like we're waiting for other people to start respect us before we start respecting ourselves and calling out other people who disrespect our image calling out other black women who disrespect our image we um say things like well that's not my problem i'm not like that without really analyzing how our public image is being portrayed yes you on an individual basis might be classy and the woman in your family might be classy however if we allow the sexy right the chance see us the cardi b to represent us in such a vulgar way what kind of stereotype you think is going to form especially those women the, especially the fact that those women are in media hear me out y'all a few people are going to interpret this video as if i'm bashing black women just go look at the last video when i asked what classy stereotype black women are known for and apparently that is bashing black women it is wild to me how we do not want to call out other black women who are destroying our image we want to stay silent and support them but then at the same time complain that we're not respected at the same time complain that we're being treated like sexual objects we got to choose one we're either going to put up with the disrespect and stay quiet or we're going to call out those black women who are destroying our image. We're going to decide to take our image more seriously. If we want people to take us more seriously, if we want people to protect us, if we want people to treat us with respect, we are going to have to start respecting ourselves. Because another thing we'll say is, oh, well, other races are men protect their women. But look how their women respect themselves carry themselves with class their women don't have the stereotypes of being loud and vulgar and combative and twerking everywhere you can't tell them none because they're strong independent black women my overall point is we expose our hypocrisy if we're going to complain how other races and other people don't take us seriously but at the same time we're not taking our image seriously right it could be that other people aren't taking us seriously because we are so nonchalant with our image we are so nonchalant with who represents us in media there are more ratchet vulgar argumentative women in media than there are classy ladylike black women there are more reality tv shows that portray black women in such an aggressive boisterous sexualized way than there are shows that portray us like we we have a little bit of class black women if we want to be taken seriously it is time for us to take ourselves seriously we are too nonchalant with our image as i have been saying we are too relaxed with who represents us in media and if somebody was to bring it to our attention if somebody was to call it out we attack the messenger oh my gosh the amount of hateful comments i received because i asked what is a classy stereotype black woman known for? I did not say ain't no classy black woman exists. I did not say you and your mama not classy. I asked what classy stereotype are we known for, known for in the general public. If you ask a non-black person, describe a black woman. How long will he take, he or she take before he says something positive? That's all I'm saying, right? Let's just think about these things. Let us use the degree we claim we have, right? We always say oh, we're the most educated. Let us use that education and, and think critically when we have these conversations. It is time for us to take control of our image because at the end of the day, we are responsible for our image, not the white man, not black men, not Asian women, not white women. We are responsible for how we are being portrayed. As I said earlier, we can't be complaining how we are portrayed as loud and combative and argumentative and sexual objects, but we go support movies and shows and music that portray us 
as those things, right? It's almost as if we are feeding our stereotype. And then even on top of that, we go out and be twerking at just random places. We be twerking in grocery stores, at restaurants, at stoplights. Like, come on now. The purpose of this video is absolutely not to bash black women, but it's to just put it in our mind to, to make us aware of our stereotypes and how we're being perceived. So hopefully, those of us who don't get easily triggered, but who want to actually you make some significant changes can start making the changes because we're hypocrites if we were going to complain about how we're being victimized but at the same time don't want to discuss how we victimize ourselves that's hypocritical all right it is your girl Chantel though let me hear y'all thoughts in the comment below hit the like button subscribe button and yeah join the conversation so share your thoughts share your thoughts i'll catch y'all in the next video